Okay, I got it on. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me. Welcome back to the Shimmy Show. I got something new to show you guys today. A new $30 pull-up bar from AliExpress, all the way from China. I hung it up on my door. Check it out. It's very durable. I mean, I could practically hang on this thing upside down and, uh, it's really good. Anyway, yeah. Ah. So let's close the door for better audio here. Mm. Welcome back to the show, the Shimmy Show. I guess I should position the camera a little bit better. There we go. <laughs> All right, so today, in the spirit of answering people's questions and whatever, when I'm not doing pull-ups in the back of the restaurant, I'm answering like the most popular questions and comments or whatever I get on the channels. I got a couple YouTube channels and people ask me surprisingly a lot of the same questions. So as I catch my breath here from working out, please do like, join, subscribe, share, etc. Okay. So today I'm going to be talking about this picture here. All the pictures on my wall back here. Um, this is the one I'm talking about. I actually jumped up and tore it down. You guys see it? It's me at roughly 17 and a half years old, okay? In this picture, I am in uh, San Francisco State University's computer lab in the library up on the, I don't know if it was third, fourth, fifth, or sixth floor or something like that. Anyway, I worked in the computer lab there, and you can see there's like a little clipboard behind me and about, I don't know, a hundred little clip clip on things for checking into a computer, right? All right, so that's me. That's nerdy old me, Shimmy Cash at 17 years old. I'm smiling with the big afro, of course. I'm smiling because even though that job's only paying me $7.29 an hour, and this was a work-study job that I probably had to like pay it back or some shit through student loans, um, I was making quite a bit of money at the particular time in... Uh, college, uh, being an adult webmaster, doing adult websites back in the early 90s, I was one of the pioneers, yeah, since 1997, a very long time ago, 23 years ago is when I got my start in the adult internet entertainment industry. A long fucking time I've been making money in this, right? I didn't just jump into this for those of you who are uh, wondering who I am, where I came from all of a sudden, and this and that. So. Yeah, um, again, look at the picture. This is a very important picture. I'm going to put it as the thumbnail for my video, actually. Nerdy, happy, smiling, but only making $7.29 an hour, at least at the school or whatever. I'm at the computer lab, and this is like in the late 1990s where uh, high-speed internet wasn't really common. I had dial-up internet at home for even after this point in time. I think not till 2000s that I get broadband, right? So... The school university had fast internet, and I had a job in the school computer lab. And they're not paying me very well. What do you think I'm going to do? Just take a wild guess. <laughs> right? In a nutshell, okay, and don't take this the wrong way, people, but I actually got started in the porn industry because of basically video games and bootlegging and uh, very strange combination of things. But ever since I think I was 15 years old in high school, I was always known as the guy that always had tapes, cassette tapes in his backpack at school. I would sell tapes bootleg tapes mixtapes or whatever for three dollars each and i always had a whole bunch of tapes in my uh, backpack it's how i'd make money at school to buy books video games more music cds disc man clothes shit like that little extra stuff i do for uh shopping mall money basically or whatever so i was always the guy that had tapes like I would even do something sometimes since 10th grade. I would actually uh, skip the last period or two of school, go to the mall, get the CD so that I have a CD if it just came out, 
and bring it home and bring back like a brick of cassette tapes and do high speed dubbing on that uh, CD or whatever. On the day the album dropped and the next day at school or sometimes even the same day, I'd have copies of whatever for three dollars or whatever. Save kids a trip to the mall. They ain't got to pay seventeen ninety nine for a CD. And I'm the the bad boy CD tape bootlegger guy. Um, a lot of high school kids did it probably, but. I was pretty good at it. So, and a long story short, this continued um, just making mixtapes and shit for people. This continued into college, but again, once I was back here 23 years ago, I'm at the front desk of a computer lab where my job is to basically check people into computers and help them with printing problems or whatever. I actually think the university hired me pretty much to deal with the black people's problems. You have to be very careful in any kind of job like this. Whenever you get hired in some role like this, usually they don't tell you at first, but in basically you, they are delegating you to deal with your own people is why they hired you. And that's what I pretty much had to do. You know, black girl, I'm printed, printed don't work. I don't, I don't, disc broke. You know, that kind of shit. You know, so they send me over there. Oh, shimmy, go go talk to some brother, talk to him. <laughs> Basically, right? Racist, but that's the way of the world, okay? Fuck it. So anyway, yeah, I'm in this computer lab. I got access to all these computers or whatever. And I eventually start getting into making... Uh, what they call wares sites yeah the nether regions of the internet but just for video games and software and shit like that right i get into learning about web hosting and i eventually get some overseas host that allows you to have a where site whatever and i'm just like and i'm studying computer i'm a computer science major at school at the time so i'm already into all this like hacking unix running a server shit whatever okay so c plus plus c plus plus and unix are what i was taught on in school or whatever anyway so having my own server was just like it ain't shit i actually have to take this mic off the tripod yeah that's better i feel like a rapper when i have a mic in my hand <laughs> shit i'm new to this microphone thing i hope i'm doing it correctly anyway um yeah so where was I at? I'm in, I'm in the school. I got a wear site. I got like software, video games, cheat codes, just nerdy shit. I'm a nerdy motherfucker. Again, look at the photos. That, that, that's a nerdy motherfucker if I ever seen one, right? So I, I got into basically I, I got into a lot of emulation and emulators, meaning you could play like arcade games on your computer, and old Nintendo games. I mean, I'm just doing video game shit. I'm a gamer, basically, right? So, this segued into porn because I copied another guy's uh, wear site or whatever. His pay I, Basically, I copied his page exactly, right? This is a guy's page that he had links to serial numbers uh, uh, for software. Uh, porn site passwords, hacked passwords were popular back in the day, you know. And uh, there, there were like sponsor banners on the bottom of the page. So when I copied the guy's page, I copied the banner ads as well, too. And I eventually followed up with the banner ads to go and uh, click on the webmaster click here link at the bottom of the page. And I said to myself, uh, if this guy is getting paid, this other wares guy is getting paid from this uh, porn company, perhaps they'll pay me, too. I don't know. So I copied the page. I signed up for a program someplace that was in L L.A. at the time. They were called XPix. I wrote, I wrote about all this in a book called ePimp about 15 years ago. I wrote a book when I was 25. If you care to look it up, it's on Amazon. But anyway, um, yeah, so... I put a, I copied what one page did. I put a banner on it, and basically a month later, I got a check in the mail for like fourteen dollars. And I was like, "Where the fuck did this money come from?" I figured out where it came from. I replicated the process, and the next month the check was a hundred dollars. And I made more pages, and the page and the check was four hundred dollars. Then before you know it, my checks are twelve hundred dollars. And before you know it, I'm making more than I am at the actual job at the computer lab. <laughs> so as time went on. Um, I'm basically in college. I'm in. Again, if you look at some of my pictures on the wall, you'll see some pictures of race cars and stuff in the late 90s and whatever. Most of that's stemming from me and my porn money that I'm making like under the table at the job at the school, right? Yeah, so I'm, sp I'm like at the particular time in college, I, have, I don't have a girlfriend. Um, I, ha I had an out-of-state girlfriend for a very short amount of time, but, you know, we broke up, broke my heart, I'm hurt, and I'm like on this like 
It's just kick of just doing shit for myself. I think any time any time that anybody exits a relationship, they really get on their grind and on their horse, so to speak, about getting their shit together in their personal life. So I was really about that. I wasn't trying to get another girlfriend or date. I didn't go to any college parties. I don't drink. I didn't smoke weed at the particular time. I still don't drink to this day, actually. I don't drink beer, at least. And um, I'm just not a party guy like that, right? Weird, I know, right? So anyway, yeah, um, I'm making this little bit of money or whatever, and eventually I start up my own website. Why not? A pay site, as they call it, or whatever, and that's where the real big bucks started rolling in. Now, looking at the wall here, um, most of it's like, yeah, I film my own content now. I, I'm the camera guy. I'm the actor guy whatever you want to call it the talent meal talent whatever in all the movies or whatever i'm in now but back in the 90s i wasn't even in front of the camera in fact i didn't even purchase my uh, video camera or whatever until about 2008 2009 when i you know got into the business or whatever in front of the camera you know what i'm saying prior to that I'm just this webmaster nerd behind the scenes. I'm this, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the, I keep showing this picture, but I'm the same motherfucker here. This is me. <laughs> this is, that's the, if you want to know the real me, it's like, it's, it's me behind a monitor and a keyboard pecking away angrily or whatever. So yeah, <laughs> so that's basically how I got started in the industry. Um, I had the foundation of being a webmaster nerd hacker video gamer kind of guy basically and i just pretty much parlayed that into doing my own thing um what if uh for reference like as, as far as like how did i make so much money in the late 90s it was because the internet was very new at the time um in the late 90s people had to have a very expensive computer to get online even modems were slow there was no fast internet so you needed to have like a two thousand dollar plus computer just to get online right so it was only the internet was for like rich people initially or people with expensive computers and this changed over time or whatever especially now you know now anybody with a 10 or 20 dollar device can get online so uh, yeah it, it is what it is like premium clientele back in the day and i also innovated a technology um you guys might probably you probably never heard of vivo but um if you guys can remember old plugins like Netscape Navigator plugins, there was there was one called Real Player, long long ass time ago, you know, and before Real Player, there was a this is like a video compression technology like M MPEG, MP4, or whatever. So before Real Player, there was a company called Vivo, V I V O, Vivo Active, I think they were called or whatever. <laughs> 